Hello, this video is going to be uh, a video that's going to help you get started with Zoom. So, uh, in this right here, uh, I will be sending you a link in your email. So, you'll need to first make sure that you can get connectivity to the internet uh, with your computer, tablet, smartphone, whatever. Uh, so, you can uh, use whatever you'd like. Uh, just as long as it has an internet connection to uh, so you can see what we're doing uh, in this class so you don't have to put the zoom on your laptop uh, you can just uh, use whatever you'd like so you can use your laptop just to do the work in uh, so the first thing I'm going to do I've already sent myself uh, a link uh, so and I've already got a meeting started so I'm gonna make this uh, look as though uh, it's you doing it and I've already started a, a meeting and you're going to uh, log into it so this should be exactly what you should have to do now if you use a tablet or something like that and you go through an app uh, some of the things may look a little bit different but it should all work out to be the same so I am using my laptop and I'm gonna go to my email and I'm using my school email so you don't have to do that you can use a gmail account or whatever but i will be sending you the link in your school email account so right here you can see that i've sent it to myself so i'm going to open up this email and you should get this right here uh it may not say join zoom meeting i don't know exactly what it'll say because it's going to be a scheduled meeting but this hyperlink here is all you should have to have and it should automatically put in this meeting ID and this password for you. So I'm just going to click on the link. And it should automatically, uh, if you've never uh, ran Zoom on your computer before, it should uh, come up and tell you that you need to. So it's going to ask you what your name is. And you can let it remember you for future meetings if you want join meeting and it says uh, please wait the meeting host will let you in soon so basically what that means is that it's going to send me a uh, a notification saying that somebody is wanting in the room okay so when I click the admit button it should allow you to actually come into the room so here's where I'm at this is exactly what my screen is showing on my other computer so here I am on my other computer and uh, so you'll be able to see every single thing that I do on my computer so it ain't too tough uh, you just have to look for the link uh, and as long as you have a internet connection and able to get to your school email and click on that hyperlink it should take you straight in uh, a couple of things uh, once you're on there you just want to make sure that uh, you can test your microphone and speakers just to make sure that you can hear anything that's being said or if you need to speak or whatever so you can uh, click on those headphones down here or if it just says, sometimes it won't have just headphones it'll have uh, you know just audio but you can click and then you go to a test speaker and microphone if you can hear the uh, hear the ringtone, you'll click yes. Click yes. And then in here, when you speak, you should be able to hear yourself talking. And then in here, when you speak, you should be able to hear yourself talking. And if you can, then you click yes. Then you want to go back to this where it says join with computer audio. And you can click join with audio. So... So I muted that right there because uh, where I'm so close to my other laptop, uh, it was getting some feedback there. But anyways, this right here is where you can mute, unmute, start video. So if you want me to be able to see you, uh, you can, and I also have to turn on a setting on mine 
but right here is where you would start video. This right here is where you would uh, uh, unmute yourself. Uh, so anyways, there's a few things that we can do here. Uh, you, you can share screens and stuff like that out there, but uh, the main purpose is, is so you can watch me and what I'm doing on my screen so you can kind of follow along. That's why it may be best for you to uh, use a tablet or your phone or, or something else besides the laptop that has the software on it uh, for Studio 5000 and Factor Top View Studio so that you can have that open only for your software and follow along on something else. Uh, just be, uh, just make sure that you don't have like uh, the volume on uh, on here speaking back to us uh, because it, it'll create a loop and we'll probably get a lot of feedback noise. So the best thing to do is stay muted uh, unless you need to ask a question. So there'll be some uh, learning uh, on this right here. Uh, I'm not that very familiar with it. Uh, but if for some reason you can't use uh, your computer audio or on your phone or tablet or something, there is also a, a way to where you can use, uh, where you can call in. So I, th I think it's better just for us to uh, use the computers or your phone or tablet or something. But if you can't, we can go through that out there in another video, get you set up on that. Uh, because I think it's uh, important for you to be able to see what we're doing uh, so that... Uh, it, it should help you instead of the videos that I was creating. It should help you. This should be kind of like the classroom, except uh, we're a lot farther apart. So, but anyways, if there's any questions, uh, just uh, make sure you give me a call uh, anytime that you have an opportunity, and I can go through over this one on one with uh, each of you, uh, or you can give me a call. Doesn't matter, email something, but. Uh, if you have trouble getting in to the class once we've started, so we'll be trying to start this today at 4 o'clock. Uh, if you're late, that's fine. Just go ahead and join in whenever you can. Uh, if you're having trouble, make sure you call me, uh, and I'll try to get you in. So just be patient. And I'm thinking today, when we first get started, it may be a little, uh, take a little more time than, than normal, but uh, that's, uh, you know, I think that's understandable. So just let, let me know if you have any questions or have any issues, and uh, hopefully I'll talk to you today around 4 o'clock. Thanks.